is a big chance of our pullback and Goya are on the score sheet. They have their first goal of the new campaign here, and the new boy is off the mark. And Angulo, somehow you knew the second the ball was delivered to his left boot, you knew where he was going to dispatch it into the net. FC goal one, Bengaluru two. Matisse. Rolled it invitingly, is there a second goal on here? There could well be, there are three across in the centre and the ball has found its way into the net and what a comeback this is from the Gores. It's 2-2 within about five minutes of having been 2-0. And it's a look of anguish on the faces of those Bengaluru defenders looking forward to the replay of this one but Goa are right back in the contest spreads the play into the wider position here for Brandon what can Brandon conjure up the magician turns his band beautifully great skill from Brandon oh and what an equalizing goal well it's come so so quickly and so so necessarily as well well, it's a wonderful comeback here, and the man on the end of it was Angulo, but what a ball again from Bram. Final attack before the drinks break, maybe here, and Angulo will lift it over the keeper, and he has found the net. They are in front, it's four and out of four for FC Goa, and for this man, Igor Angulo, give him a sniff, and he will take the opportunity. 1-0 FC Goa. And look at that bounce, it's just been kind to them. Savio Garma with a delightful ball forwards. But what a stunning finish that is from Angulo. That is the class and that is the quality that has come to the Hero ISL this season. And he'll slip the ball to his right, there's a shooting opportunity here. It slipped through and here is the goal! It is the second goal! And he's got his goal. And how much he deserves that because uh, for me, Boggy Ortiz has been one of the most improved players over the last two games. Goa steering themselves into three points. Forget the finish. Forget the finish, John. Watch the ball. Watch the ball that's played to Ortiz. Choose them. Um, oh, to try and snipe and find a third goal, but that's right into the arms of the oh! goalkeeper. Oh, what has he done now? Paul Macefield's voice tells you absolutely everything. I was saying Angulo hadn't found the net at the end of the ground that he prefers. He has now, you know. So Goa's new super sniper is the easily the top scorer in the Hero Indian Super League. That is number five for him. Number three for Goa and three points and thank you very much. It's a dangerous ball in. He's got an opening and he slots it away. Side by Romario, El Predator has got the Golasso that opens up the game going into the break. Well, what do you say? You just dejection on Baxter's face, but take nothing away from FC Gore. Fighting to the last few minutes of the first half, and this is what he needs. And here he comes, one of the changes of Tears. It's a great ball, just needs the return, and it's there! He started the move, he finished the move, game on! FC goal one, Chennai in, FC one, we've got a beauty on our hands! What is his cut inside? I don't think it was a full intention at all ball through to the wide player who lays it back on a sixpence, and I'm telling you, the finish is quality. Angula does the job. Calmly taken. By the Spaniard, it's goal number seven for him now. He's now scored against five different opponents in FC Goa's eight games. First penalty he's ever converted here in India. Thoroughly enjoyable contest, and it's won! FC Goa have snatched it! Can you believe it? Angulo has got on the end of the corner kick and they have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. And he knows the way to that net. It's goal number eight of Angulo's season and uh, Oi Coil is crestfallen. Will Edu actually go for the net here at the, the moment? Uh, Katiaman has taken one side of uh, the goal and it is the equaliser they were looking for. Well, what a moment here for FC Goa. 
with the equaliser coming from Ishan Pandita. That must be one of the fastest goals from a substitute ever in the Hero ISL history. He's just run on the pitch, gone to take up his position. But what about this ball, John? It's absolutely delicious, isn't it? It's a wonderful, wonderful ball from Edu Badi. And the little flick, it's FC going to claw their way back into a match. And there's still time for them to get a winner. Wonderful quality on the ball, inspired substitution. Nogueira, great ball in here, it is Angulo's opportunity, he's one against one against Ode, it is Angulo, they've done it again, Gore have done it again, they scored in the 95th minute of the last game here against Jamshedpur, the goal scorer that day was Igor Angulo, and Angulo's done it again, did he get the final touch, is it his ninth of the season here? We'll just see what happens, whether it took a touch, he's so skillful, he's so clever, he holds it up well, he beats off a day, yes, it's uh, the goal registered for Igor Angulo, he is leading the way for the Golden Boots with his, 90, with his ninth of the season. And if that wins the day for SC's Bengal and wins the three points, it's going to be, uh, going to be oh, an equaliser, they've got the equaliser as well, what an extraordinary turnaround in this game. He's gone in between Jack Magoma and the defender. And for once you have to say the keeper hasn't got it right. Well, I mean, the keeper got that one wrong, didn't he? But I'll tell you what, that's a cool can't finish from that youngster. And as you mentioned, John. The render has cleared the line, but it's with Brandon now. And Silverschley across. It needs the pull back. And there it is. Ortiz can shoot, can score, can deflect. Who cares if you're a FC Goa fan? This man was promoted tonight. Mistake for that finish. Great first touch, and slotting at home with a plum. That is what he was in the lineup to do today. Taking this little bit of a deflection from Hartley was probably taking it that little bit extra away from TP Reynesh, but did nothing away from that. That was a good finish. We've had one chance in behind. The keepers managed to get through to, and then we've had one from the right wing position that was cut back. And now, it's a second. He just made sure, I'm sure it went over the line at the first, but Ortiz is on a fantastic run of goals here. Dribble, and look at that. He's just, he's just running behind that defence. Unmarked, no one was even aware of where he was, as he's just, once again, just ghosted in between the pullback and the centre-back. The goalkeeper's had to try it and bail them out once again as he's done time and time again. And again, his seventh clean sheet in his 21st appearance in the Hero Indian Super League. Unused sub, all games in season six and all of them up until tonight. And it could be a third and it will that be. That is another colossal here. FC Goa, they can rejoice. For a centre-back, that is a cool, calm, composed finish. He's that, I think his game <laughs> set and match. The game set and match. Head off to the locker room. Even Gonzalez, you know what? That's his fourth attempt in the Hero Indian Super League. On target. There is. It's on its way at the second. It's a super sub. He's there again. Ishan Pendina, the 22-year-old. They've come off the bench and got a crucial goal and a 2-1 win against Hyderabad. He's got them on level footing here. 84th minute, the equaliser has come from the set piece. The course struck late in games, they've underlined that again. It's game on in the closing stages. The second corner's come in, he's had a couple of sniffs at it, and he's actually composed himself with a rebound and slotted in at the back of the net. What an impact the kids had. Fantastic. Chance for Goa from this set piece. And it's gone straight into the net. Well, so it looks anyway. And he's going to take the salute here, but it's not well. We've seen a, a goal direct from a corner from Kribalaro. It must have had some sort of a little touch on the way in, but let's uh, just have a, a look 
He tees it straight over the keeper. He's missed it completely, has he? No, I think you're right, John. I think there's a little deflection of the defender's head. You can see that little flick off Sahal's head. That's just deep taking the trajectory of the ball up and up and over the goalkeeper. But I still think the keeper hasn't assessed the flight of the ball because as it's come past Sahal is when he started moving forward. And then once he's gone there, he just hasn't been able to get back and get a hand on. Just too far out of Magoma's reach. Neville tries to recover the danger. Naguera, lovely ball forward. It's Angulo, round Devjic, and into the back for double figures this season. Quick feet once again from the league's leading scorer. And they've been caught out through midfield. It was a slack ball. They give the ball away. Magoma couldn't get there, neither could Neville. But what a sublime little pass that was from Naguera. And this man, you know what he's going to do. We've just said... He's going to hit the target no matter what when he gets in there. But not only does he hit the target here, he puts it past the keeper. Just skips round Devjit. Allowed to run by Devendra. Asking Ortiz to get on the end of it. Skips around the challenge, just keeps the ball in play, does it? And looked like it might have gone out. No flag. And turned in from close range by Romario. Well, Northeast to convince that ball had gone out of play. The flag step down. And Romario, who we highlighted at the start of the game, could be a, a major plus point for FC Goa. Gets his first goal of the season and puts his side in front. Well, there you go. Well done, young man. First goal. Not going to get an easier one, is he? He's five, six yards out and just slams it into an empty net. But the question will be asked, was that ball in play? Nice movement. Devendra letting that go for Ortiz. And Ortiz did really, really well here. No, nope, that ball doesn't look out of play. And they don't deal with it, do they, Northeast? It looked as though they've got enough bodies there to be able to deal with it. Ashtosh goes and closes down. Just skips past the challenge. Nogueira, was that a shot? It doesn't matter, he's put it back into the danger zone. Here we'll see from here, no, full ball, no. Full ball, absolutely no way as that full ball crossed the line. That is the correct decision, a goal. Seven goals in the last quarter of an hour, and they've got another one, it's bundled over the line, and the goal will stand. Well, again, North East United's defenders have switched off. And the ball's been bundled over the line, it was Amajit, I think, that got the final touch on that one. Don't think it'll go down as an own goal because the ball was trubbing towards goal, but Amajit, the youngster who joined this week to further his international chances, gets the goal. If you don't take your chances and your opportunities when they come, and I'm talking about North East, you're going to get punished. Ortiz looking to pry them open. Clan Martin from Jason! Oh, what a shot that is! What a shot from Clan Martins! He was born 20 kilometers from here. Comes to the Bambulin and sets it on fire for goal number 200 of the Hero ISL. Picture perfect. What a story! Such precision, top corner, arcing away from the goalkeeper, in off the crossbar. And these guys will be absolutely delighted. You couldn't score that at a better time for Juan Ferrando's FC Goa. We talk about it being the 200th goal, that is probably the best goal out of all 200 as well. Adil Khan goes in a tackle in the attacking half for good measure. Noguera. In comes the crossing and goal! It's an equaliser! As you go, I have shot right back in it! What did we say? This game never disappoints! The flag has stayed down, the hands have gone up, it won't matter, it's 2-2! Well, we said that uh, Igor Angulo is going to be the man. He'll have to come to the party to pull them back. And he's clearly not offside, we spoke about it. The first time he said he's going to be offside a couple of times, but on that one occasion when he isn't, and you think that he is, he's going to punish you. And Amrinda made a great save early on, but there's absolutely nothing he could do about this. It's too close, no time to react. And Angulo doesn't miss from there. One last throw of the dice. Erubedia's teasing delivery! What an ending! And it is a shot! Drop this on a dime. 
And all Ishan Pandit had to do was get his head on the end of that. And he's done that brilliantly. How has he done that time and time again this season? He's come on as a late, late sub. And I think he's probably only had about six or seven touches in the Hero ISL this season, but he's already got three goals. That is probably going to be one of the most important goals that he's ever going to score for his club this season. Second attempt, Angulo goes the other side, Gets chooses it, but Angulo just too much precision. And we say what we said seconds ago, FC Goa are back in it, it is 1-1. What a great start to this game, it always provides goals. We were just saying, they play better football when they're a goal down, that's certainly exactly what they've done to come back, to score twice from the spot. Never easy because the keepers almost has an idea of what you might want to do. But here you go, Rangulo. It's always cool, calm in front of goal. He gets his team back in once again this season. Noguera. Oh, it's a great ball forward. And it's a shot for once again! What a superb run, a superb pass, and this is what you want. This young man, as we said, he comes on, and this is what he does. He scores goals. What a brilliant, brilliant strike on his left foot, and we still have enough time for him to maybe get another one. This is beyond understanding. What he's doing it defies what usually happens in football. Peace. Good overlap from Ivan Gonzalez. Oh, brilliant header. And Naguera, who was denied earlier on with a flying header. And it's an unlikely source with the assist. Even Gonzalez, the centre back, getting wide with the cross. Goalkeeper got a hand to it, couldn't keep it out. And Goa's possession has finally paid off with the opening goal. It has, and we said that they did have that patience. They've shown it a little bit too much in front of the opponents, but this is absolutely fantastic. It's a lovely ball in from the defender who strolled up from the back, but where's the marking? Odisha will not be happy with that. Jerry Payton will be asking questions. Naguera has come a little bit later, attacked the ball and drilled the header in. And the question is, is that going to start and open the floodgates? There are a different prospects in the second half, Odisha, against North East. Good corner. Not too sure that was Deerage or Donaghy. They've got a touch on that. Deerage came flying out. Doesn't matter how they manage to get it away, that's a great ball. Ortiz is onside here, he's through on goal, it's a chance for number two! That's a wonderful little finish! That is a bit of quality from Ortiz. Goalkeeper tried to make himself big, but from defending at one end to attacking at the other, Goa have done it within seconds. And the man we highlighted as being one of the fantastic four at the start of the game has goal number six. It's a sublime finish from Jorge Ortiz. It was terrible, terrible defending. You've got a corner and this happens. Good, solid header away. It was Donaghy. They don't deal with the ball there. And then all of a sudden, look at the orange shirts pouring forwards. No one's staying with the run of Ortiz. And how cool is that? He knew exactly what was going to happen. A real bit of quality here from Ortiz. Watch this, he has that little glance, another glance. Knows that the keeper is going to go down the way that he did. And then just a little dink. That's more than enough, and that's the little bit of breathing space that go and need. And now they can really, really kick on tonight. Well, Tease is too happy. Anyway, five to eight, four in the centre. Donaghy just over Donaghy, Gonzalez with a shot, blocked by Archdeep. And it's even Gonzalez that snaps in from close range. Well, they seem to have got away with that one, Adisha. But when the ball's dropped, it's the central defender that's reacting to stab the ball home from close range and go and have a two-goal cushion back once again. Well, they do have that threat, don't they? And that was exactly what Odisha didn't want. It's exactly what Goa wanted and the Gores. It's a decent ball whipped in. Where's the marking? No one's marking him at the far post. They're zoning. It's gone past everyone. That's your problem. There's your first one. And it just gets poked into his path, and he'll make absolutely no mistake from there. And for the second time tonight, literally on the stroke of a water break, 
We've had another goal, but that's got to be game, set and match for me for Goa. Yeah, the players have come across, so Diego Maurizio's came the last kick before the water break, as did even Gonzalez, who gets his second goal of the season for FC Goa. And is that the goal that hands them the three points to take them back into the top four? Chance though. Oh, it's crept in, it's Angulo. Well, that's the danger of the man. Give him a second. And he will find the bottom corner. Nothing that Gerfried could do. And Goa have taken the lead. Well, Eric Partelou getting caught there in possession of the ball. This is poor, very, very poor from Bengaluru. And like you say, Glenn Martin's doing ever so well. And just tapping it through to Angulo. And he doesn't need a second invitation, does he? Drills it into that bottom corner, making absolutely no mistake. That's a cool, calm finish from Angulo, and it's what we expect, and those fans there will be very, very happy that he's opened the scoring, and that gives Goa a little bit of breathing space. Redeemed down the line for Xavier. Nice little pullback, Partilu on the edge, just got a touch on it, not very far though. Back in again by Serriton, it's Xavier at the back, Partilu can't get a touch, Redeem! Fires into the bottom corner, and Bengaluru pay the price for not getting the ball away, and it's the man who came back into the starting lineup for his second appearance, Redeem Talang, who's fired Goa into a two-goal lead, 2-2, two and, two, and they very much now are in control. They really are, it's like we said, they can't pick them apart, that's exactly what they've done here, just a little ball down the line, no one going with the runner. Savio not with the best crossing, Partelou does just enough, Nogueira just looking to come in late. I felt that Savio should have done a little bit better there with the header, but what's happened is it's just dropped on a plate here for Radim Talang, who goes bang right in that bottom corner to double the advantage here for Goa. And when it looked as though both sides were comfortable, they were tetchy, they were feeling each other out. Within the space of three minutes, Bengaluru shot themselves in the foot and find themselves trailing by two goals. It's Angulo against Amrinda. This hesitates in the run and sends the keeper the wrong way. He went the other way this time, but to good effect. And Igor Angulo gives go of the edge in the first semi-final. Third penalty scored this season. 14 goals for him, and go and have their noses in front. Well, he's cool as you like. As you mentioned, he did these two penalties before today, the other way. This time, he's just changed the angle of the foot right at that last moment and tucks it in. And on the balance of play, you have to say, gives Goa a deserved lead. They do deserve it this opening for 20 minutes that we've had so far. Adil Khan. Gamma. Matisse went on a bit of a decoy. Gamma still going, drives it low! And drives it into the bottom corner. And Xavier Gamma puts FC Goa back in front. It's his first Iranian Super League goal of the season. And what a time to score it as well. And another Indian player that has shown this season for his team fires in. And all of a sudden, the second half has been illuminated. Where has that come from? I tell you, what a run, what a finish this is from Xavier Gama. No one goes to front him up until it's too late. He's given the freedom of the half to just go and attack that 18-yard box. And Xavier Gama just looks up and just buries that in the corner. Good can't finish from the young man. Well, the Goa fans delighted on the fan wall. And he likes semi-finals. His last goal came in the semi-final against Chennai.